What's up everyone, Dr. Joel Portnoy back again from ENT and Allergy Associates. I wanted to take the opportunity to thank all of you for the great engagement we've had on our previous videos about COVID and all the other videos on the channels. Um, and I wanted to continue to encourage you to share the information that I'm presenting here with your friends, your family, anybody who you think might actually really benefit from it. Um, I also want to take the opportunity to clarify a couple things because there's some pretty consistent questions coming from a lot of people. And um, I want to specifically to talk about this one device that I think will be really helpful for patients who are feeling symptoms to try to help keep them out of the hospital. And this thing is called a pulse oximeter, okay? This is, again, that little device that I was talking about that can measure the oxygen levels in your blood. So what's really important is, and, and this is gonna be the most important part of what I'm telling you, is that oximeters are not for everyone. Essentially, the only people who really need them are anybody who's had any sort of respiratory symptoms. Anybody who's having trouble with breathing, shortness of breath, feeling like you can't climb up a flight of stairs without feeling winded, feeling tired from speaking, or uh, feeling even chest pain or discomfort, using an oximeter can help determine the oxygen levels in your blood. So essentially what I wanna do is I wanna show you what an oximeter looks like. I'm gonna show you the little guy that's clipped onto my finger over here and how it works. Essentially what it is is a little device um, that shines a light uh, on the inside, you can see if they're blinking. Um, and what it does, you put your finger in there and essentially what it will do is it will measure the oxygen levels in your blood. And that is going to give you, a, a, on the readout, uh, two, two numbers you're gonna see over here. The first number right over here is the SpO2, okay? That is your percentage of oxygen that's in your blood. Um, we're looking for that number to be anywhere between usually 95 and 100%, okay? And that may fluctuate from day to day, from time to time. So if it fluctuates in that range, you really don't have to worry too much about it. The second number that we are looking for over here is your pulse rate, okay? That's your heartbeat. That's a little bit high for me, but typically we would expect it to be anywhere between 60 and 80. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit higher, a little bit lower. Uh, athletes are gonna have it a little bit on the lower side. Mine tends to be somewhere in the 50 to 60 range, but when I'm doing a post, maybe a little bit higher. Um, the other uh, last thing I wanna call your attention to, and, and some oximeters are gonna have this and some um, won't, um, is something called a waveform. And what you'll see here is this little squiggly line on the bottom. And essentially the squiggly line on the bottom is gonna tell you whether or not this is a reasonable tracing or not. Um, if it's kind of flat or irregular looking, that's a problem. If you see it like little mountain peaks, that is actually really what you're looking for. And that's a true tracing. So if you see something that says 75%, but it's a flat line, that's not really working very well. We know that this is reading pretty well at 100%. It's picking up big, sharp peaks. So we basically will use a device like this in the hospital to determine whether or not a patient needs oxygen. And the main reason that we're seeing a lot of patients have to go to the hospital is because their oxygen is low. And when their oxygen is really consistently below 95% or they're having difficulty breathing, sometimes they need a little bit of supplemental oxygen. We've probably seen that before with a little uh, tube under the nose, or sometimes we need um, masks on the face, or sometimes uh, in real dire situations, they need to have a breathing tube with a ventilator to provide support to the lungs. So essentially, my goal here was just sort of introduce you to the technology. And this is something you could pick up on Amazon or um, any other retailer. The problem is, is that it may be a little bit difficult to get at this point. I think a lot of people are looking for these and you really don't need them unless you're having respiratory symptoms. Um, if you are having a situation where your oxygen is typically low, uh, I think it's time to uh, reach out to your doctor or seek medical attention because at that point, um, if you are COVID positive and you're requiring um, a lot of work to breathe or you're not getting enough oxygen, that's definitely time to seek medical attention. Um, I hope this was helpful in answering some of those burning questions. If you have more questions, please post uh, down below uh, the, in the comments. And I really appreciate, again, all the outreach that's been out there. If there's anything I can tell you about to help clarify, I'd be more than happy to go into that with you. Again, just leave me some comments and share this with anybody else that you think maybe uh, it might benefit. Again, thanks so much for your time and thanks for watching.